I'm the Superintendent of Schools for the Burlington County Institute of Technology and Burlington County Special Services School District. Today's Leadership Spark is focused on gratitude. This Thursday, we in the USA will celebrate the national holiday of Thanksgiving, having its origins back to the time of the pilgrims. It's also a personal event that brings meaning to each and every one of us. Thanksgiving is a special time and one that I will never forget nor take for granted. I remember when I lived in Italy for seven years as a student, Italians didn't have turkeys and they didn't have the occasion to celebrate Thanksgiving. They did, however, refer to it as the Giorno di Ringraziamento, or the Day of Giving Thanksgiving, a phrase worked into the vocabulary because of the Americans. Each year, those Americans abroad in the city gathered together as Americans and looked forward to the turkeys that were flown in just for that occasion. It was a special day for all of us, so far away from home and family. When defining gratitude, Benedictine monk, Brother David Steidel Rast, suggests that there are two qualities to gratitude. The first is appreciation, namely, when you recognize that something is valuable to you, which is not related to its monetary value. The second quality of gratitude is in the Latin word gratis, meaning to give freely to you. Robert Emmons, perhaps the world's leading scientific expert on gratitude, notes that a key aspect to gratitude is that we recognize that the sources of this goodness are outside of ourselves. We acknowledge that other people would give us many gifts, big and small, to help us achieve the goodness in our lives. Gratitude is a barometer of good things that are happening, a motivator to pay it forward, and a reinforcer that is an action that can be done over and over again. What many times we forget to do, as Jim Rohn notes, we should learn to be thankful for what we already have while we pursue that which we want. Positive psychologist Robert Biswas Steiner argues that most people try to reach happiness by ascribing to it accomplishing things in the future rather than looking back to happy moments in the past. Biswas Steiner claims that once people realize that they have a lot to be grateful for in their past, rather than exclusively looking toward the future, they're closer to reaching happiness. Fast forward this year, I'm grateful for our newest member of our family, our son-in-law, as of October. And I remember finally my next door neighbor who was like another father to me who passed away this year. I'm also grateful for being an educator and for the opportunity to be among talented staff and students who are tomorrow's future. Exercising gratitude according to applied positive psychologist counters the hedonistic treadmill and counters low levels of gratitude for those focused on materialism and the more exercised, the less engagement in social comparison or the keeping up with the Joneses next door. Words for contemplation come from William Arthur Ward who once said, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Instead of questions today, I ask you to participate in two gratitude exercises. The first is designed by Deb Giffen and is entitled, The Daily Dozen. Four steps. Write down three good things that happened within the past 24 hours and how you contributed to it happening. The second, write down three challenges you are facing at present and one thing that you can do to move each thing in a positive direction. Third. Write down three things you are grateful for in the past or present. And last, write down three things you are grateful for in the future, written as though it already happened. Another exercise is referred to as the gratitude expression by positive psychologist Sonia Ibu Uriski. Think of a person who has been influential in your life. Do not wait to acknowledge and express your appreciation to this person. Call, text, write a letter, or if possible, visit him or her personally and express your gratitude in concrete terms for who they are to you. Not sure? Open your phone contacts on your phone. Perhaps you've not talked to a person in a long time. Research is clear that 40% of one's life satisfaction is dependent upon one's intentional activity. One of those activities is exercising gratitude for the past and the present while looking toward the future.